everybody. This is Christian, aka Elevators International, here on YouTube. So today is going to be a slightly different video than the normal elevator videos that I always post. So this is more like talking elevator related, but we're talking about my favorite elevator brands, as you can see from the title and the thumbnail. I'm going to show us what they are. Yeah, I mean, I like, I do like certain elevators that um, have certain characteristics, but my all-time favorite ones that I've I finally made the decision on tonight after looking at some videos and what I've observed over the years of filming elevators and having a passion for elevators all my life. I just wanted to sit down here and share with you guys my, uh, my perspective on it. And some of the fixtures or some of the certain chimes I like, etc. The first one is Long. So Long Elevator Company, for those of you that are not from the Midwest, I know there's some, I know there's some people that are not from the Midwestern United States. Uh, so I live in the Midwestern United States, specifically the state of Illinois, as you all probably know by now, because I do a lot of my elevator filming around here, because um, this is where I live all the time. So they're a, an elevator company based out in the Springfield, the Springfield, Illinois area, which I've been down to Springfield in October 2019. Um, also in the St. Louis, Missouri area. They were a company that started around um, in the 1970s. Personal favorite type of long elevator is like, I will say quite a bit of the characteristics of them, like some of the, the, the newer long elevators, like the 90s into the early 2000s long elevators. Like, I like the, the chimes that they have. They sound like Montgomery vector chimes, like the indicator, like once the elevator reaches its floor after it, it's done that, the digital display glitch. Um, it beep the indicator beeps and then the chime rings, which I like. The lanterns are ThyssenKrupp lanterns. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. The buttons are like monitor buttons. They look like Innovation Decorator and Adam's Designer, but they light up red. And where I've seen that once before, and I really wish I got a video of it. A couple of years ago, I went to the Illinois School for the Visually Impaired and I was doing a goalball tournament because as you all know, I am visually impaired or legally blind. Well, let's just call me visually impaired. In the dorm building at night, I went to the bathroom, I took a ride on the elevator, and I saw that it was long, and I was like, N I don't know why I didn't do a video of it, I really wish I did, because I was having a fun time socializing with all my other blind, fr blind visually impaired friends, because we were all chilling out for the night, and we were staying at, at that school for, uh, for one night, because it's, it's located down in southern Illinois, it's, it's about 40 minutes out from Springfield, Jacksonville, Illinois. I know there's a Jacksonville, Florida, but there's a Jacksonville, Illinois, which is about an hour away from St. Louis. So you can kind of see like where the long elevators, that's where their region of the, of the US they're, they're located in. There's not really others in other states, so Ill, primary, primarily Illinois, which is where I live, and I'm glad I live here because I can see long elevators in my area. I get that ISVI, um, the Illinois School for the Visually Impaired long elevator again in that dorm building because I like the chimes that it has even though the fan was on. It had a bumper I remember and also I think it had a, an electric eye and it had the monitor buttons that look like Adams that look like Adams and in Innovation with the uh, the the nice long chimes. But there is some long elevators that I do plan on visiting pretty soon at some point this year. Um, it's at the Central DuPage Hospital in Winfield uh, parking garage. They have long elevators. I know someone else filmed them uh, last year or a couple years ago. And the other one is at the Schaumburg Regional Airport in Schaumburg, Illinois. I, I have seen other people film them recently, plus frankly, um, and someone else filmed the elevator there recently, just today actually. Um, yeah, that's one of my favorite, that's my first favorite elevator company. Like, that's the one I would, these are, this is one of them that I would probably foam over. <laughs> so for everybody in the community, get ready. Because, like, if there's a long elevator that you dedicate to me, I'm probably going to foam over it or get obsessed or, or, be, or be so happy about it. <laughs> um, and frankly, all these companies that I'm going to be mentioning, U.S. Elevator Company. So U.S. Elevators were known for not really being the greatest, to some cir circumstances. I do like the circle buttons and the square buttons, and as well as the touch sensitive, which I am, last year was an awesome year for me with elevator filming with that. I finally got to see my first US square button with a, with a slight stupid slap, 
with a slight boring slap on third party Adams mod. But I was glad I was able to see the square button slanted a little bit in the wall panel. I also like the US circle buttons, which I found in quite a while back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say about 2018. I went to a medical office building in Wheaton. Um, and it had a US elevator with a giant, with a hospital size and epic motor. Um, it had the, uh, the I, it was my first time officially seeing US circle buttons. The first time I thought the elevator at 6900 Main Street in Downers Grove was a US, but after a little, which I can understand why, it's some ser similar characteristics, but like not a whole, some like there's some similarities though, like the buttons, the labels are different. The layout of the buttons are a little differently. The the arrows are, yeah, those were cool. And I I also like the uh, '90s or not uh, the the late uh, the mid to late '90s uh, U.S. touch sensitive buttons that are a lot of them get replaced with like the ThyssenKrupp Aurora buttons. Most likely, that's a pretty common fixture that they've used to replace them with. But the U.S. touch sensitive is pretty cool. I haven't found an official original touch sensitive U.S. elevator, but from what I it was at a it was at 2300 Cabot Drive in Lyle, Illinois. Um, uh, Windy City jo Elevators, Jonathan filmed them. And it had like the nice, like um, the later US elevator chime, light up digital, uh, light up uh, dot matrix uh, arrows. They kind of remind me of Otis Series 1 with like the way they, uh, they ding and stuff which I think a lot of people in the community that have seen US elevators, uh, they would agree. One is Schindler. So I know we've all seen many Schindler HTs everywhere, or the vandal resistant kind, especially the newer Schindlers. I finally got a taste of newer Schindler at the RH Restoration Hardware Outlet Furniture um, in Oak Brook Center, which is one of my local malls in the Chicagoland area. I do like Schindler MT. Like, I don't see a lot of them that often around here. Like, I really like the 90s uh, Schindler MT, ma uh, MT, especially Long Bar. I finally got to see a Long Bar at Sears or Woodfield Mall. That's the closest to me. There's another one up in Lake Lake Geneva, Illinois. No, Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. Like, I don't really go up for, to Wisconsin for, for any particular reason, really. But, uh, yeah. Um, I do like the, uh, the chimes of uh of Schindler MTs because like I don't know it's just a really nice and pretty it's a nice and pretty sound I also like their epic motors and yeah like the buttons are cheap and also let me show you actually have a Schindler MT button right here this is what I'm talking about has a circuit board on here with the pins and stuff and here's the button itself Good look at the button. Yep, right there. Like that's so. Uh, that's what I like. Like I do like Schindler HT, but like I've gotten bored of them because they're everywhere in my local area. They're so common, and like they're they're getting kind of boring. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I still like them, but I'll, I also. Oh, here's another next thing about Schindler. I also like Schindler Low Pitch, which unfortunately I wish. The only Schindler low pitch that I found was the at the Jewel Osco in Elmhurst, which I believe was a service elevator. Northern Il Chris Christopher Northern Illinois Elevators filmed it. That was definitely a service elevator, but it didn't matter because I rode it anyway. <laughs> when I was up there, like I almost got busted because I heard someone, so I had to keep stay quiet. You guys can check out the video if you want. That's one of my popular uploads. They were discontinued like in the very, very late 90s, into the very, or very early 2000s. Like right at year 2000 in like 90s, like that's when they were around the most common. I also like uh, Schindler 400A. Those are cool. I like the chimes and the indicator. And like we have the usual high pitch Schindler HT chimes that ring on the 400As. Like those are cool. Like I want to, I want to find a 400A. I know there's some around in the Midwest, but like, I know there's one out in Elgin, but that's kind of far from me. I don't know. Maybe I'll take a trip over there. It's in an apartment building, but I don't know if, I don't really know, but, um, that's, you know, that's, but, uh, at least there's videos of it. Maybe I'll find a Schindler, uh, 400A one day. 
Another one is ThyssenKrupp. Um, so we all know and love ThyssenKrupp. It was, it's the carryover of Dover Elevator Company. And I do like quite a bit of the form of Do like Dover, like I like a lot of them, a lot of their characteristics, other type of buttons, but it also just, it really like depends on like the characteristics, characteristics of the elevator itself and also what I've seen most of the time or frequently. I don't know, it all depends really. I'm kind of out there with Dover. For ThyssenKrupp, I do like their Signa 4 line. Even, um, with the with the light up blue like they feel like aurora but like they're a little bit they feel more cheap the one the first ones i've seen in person was at the um hampton inn in schaumburg right next to woodfield mall schaumburg illinois and also one down the street off of Amer american lane which was the um home two suites by hilton with the matted toll buttons and the Ender MRL hydraulics. Like, those are really cool. I, that's my favorite line of ThyssenKrupp. Uh, I also saw an Ender MRL just like that with the matted toll. That was, the first one was at the Villa Park Public Library back in 2019. That was my first time seeing them in person. I saw, like, them coming around, like, around the 2017 era. That's when I very first saw them. I saw a video by Air Trend Lover, Jason, at the Home 2 Suites in Schaumburg, and I really wanted to see those elevators for a long time. And I finally did. There was a fourth one. Let me pause it for a sec. Actually, no, that was pretty much it. And these, like, again, these are some of the elevator fixtures and some of the characteristics of long Schindler US or United States elevator ThyssenKrupp. Some of these uh, characteristics that I've mentioned, I'll probably foam over or, or get so excited over. The last one was Otis Series 1, like the late 80s, very early 90s. Not the newer ones with like the newer chimes and newer arrows. Those I've seen way too many times and I also get bored of them too. Even though they are nice, but they also get boring after a while. I like the older characteristics of Otis, like the very older Series 1 from like the, the ones, the flatter, the flat buttons with like the green door open and door close buttons the alarm yellow alarm button some of the earlier chimes on the indicator and the uh, stuff like that and the motors so everybody in the community knows now <laughs> um and i know and like like i would probably like you could probably call me the nerd of those buttons if i I don't know, <laughs> but the, because I don't, I don't see a lot of these, uh, from where I live, like, I don't see a lot of these often in some of the places that I go to film elevators, and I really want to get more out there. I'm visually impaired, and I can't drive, and there's certain, like, public transit that I have to, like, work with, like, that's a lot, like, especially with unfamiliar areas, that's also the reason, plus also my parents drive me to help me film them, and they do enjoy it. They enjoy doing it with me, and I enjoy doing it with them. They like. They 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 think it's really fun. Here are some photos of what I've been talking about. That's just some of the comp companies, uh, some of the fixtures or uh, car some characteristics that I don't really see often on at least some of these comp elevator companies that I don't see around. Some of these I may hit up and we'll see what the future holds with elevator filming with uh, those companies. So yeah, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video today. Comment, like, and subscribe and that'll be it. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Have a good night.